What's up mechanics? Welcome back to VimTools headquarters and happy Tuesday. Today is a special episode because we're doing Piper's Pick. This is the yep. second one we've ever done. Um, so stay tuned at the end of this video. We're going to choose one of the winners who entered the giveaway post on our Instagram. Via the same format as last time. For those of you who don't know, that means we're going to get Piper, get these buttons that have preset numbers on them. She's going to choose said numbers at random by pressing on the buttons and you'll see it live on camera to choose the winner. Right. But other than that, we have our master sets back in stock. Uh, we have TMS 77. Is that the MMS 64? No, that is over there. Oh, we have the MMS 64 back in stock. We have the TMS 77. We have some of the subsets and we're going to have a lot more of these coming pretty soon. Do a different variations of them. But I'm but, sure a lot of you already know that we have these. We just wanted to show them to you again because we do have them in stock these after have, a pretty long while of not having them. Yep. Uh, but we got them now and we're going to have them indefinitely. That's our Mechanics Master Set. It's a 64 piece that includes your Torx and your Hex. This has pretty much everything. It has tamper proof, it has E Torx, Torx, Torx Plus, Hex Metric, and SAE. And what does this go all the way up to? 22 millimeters in hex and T70 in Torx. Yep. Uh, the, the point of this set was essentially to combine our two best-selling kits from back in the day, the TMS 34 PF and the HMS 26. We put those into one kit <clears throat> and added, what, I think four more pieces to make the MMS 64. So here you have it. It's actually one of our most popular sets because it was a no-brainer. It was both of our most popular things put together. It, it was going to sell and it was going to work. People like it. And for anyone who owns this <coughs> set knows that these hold up extremely well. Um, these are all made of S2 steel. And we have a special hardening process that makes our S2. Did you know that Vim was one of the first companies to start using S2? I did not know that, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, we've been around for almost 100 years. And Vim started using S2 a long time ago. Um, and it was originally one of the biggest like things about our sockets, but a lot of people use S2 now. Um, our S2 is Our entire just, hard line is still all S2, and a lot of people don't know that. It's not something that we We don't market say. it much. Yeah, we don't advertise it very often, but... Our screwdriver uh, hand, uh, blades are S2. But our, uh, our hardening process is why we're able to claim a less than 2% effective rate. So obviously, over time, it is past the, what do they say, the test of time? Yeah, yeah it's past the test of time. <laughs> That's for sure. If you have one of these sets, comment and let us know how it's been for you. This is the other one that he was referring to, the TMS-77. Now you have a full 77-piece torque set. If you have any job that needs any type of torque driver, I guarantee you it's in here. Unless you do some crazy specialty thing where you need something crazy small or crazy large. This covers 99% of the basics. You have your T6 to your T70. You're going to have your Torx uh, your tamper-proof 8 through 60, your Torx Plus, your 5-point, your E-Torx, your E-Torx Plus. You have everything you need in this set. And the thing about these is that you can get this 77 piece set, but if you don't need this full 77 pieces, we also carry subsets. On a mag reel. They all come on a mag reel just like this. Each one of those variations we have in subset versions. So you have the TMS Torx here. Well, we're gonna have like four new sets coming very soon, I think by June. Um, We'll have a 40-piece master set. We'll have a 32-piece set. We're going to have some new XZN sets. We should have brought the XZN 400 up here. Do we have those in, Do we have those right now? Or are we waiting for the updated set? XZN 400. No, we don't have those yet. Okay. We have the XZN 400, which we have in stock. It is so, it's going out. But that set will be replaced by something very similar to it, but better. Way better. Uh, but, yeah, it's very exciting. We're going to be coming back with all the sockets and drivers that we used to have. Um, plus some. So be excited for that because Vim has always been known for great socks and drivers and we're going to continue that going forward. Speaking of quality and innovation. And S2. And S2. This is the VHC 77 which is our half cut bit set and we've shown it before but we get a lot of questions. I had a question on in, like Instagram the other day that said please make a bit set that works with your HBR5 ratchet. Yeah I don't. <laughs> so Here's the HBR5, and here's a bit set that it works with. These are all half cut, so these are literally half the height of a normal bit. Let me take one out of here. They're literally just cut in half. 
And they're all made of S2 steel. Let's put this in this end. The reason they're so hard to get that size is because you actually have to, you don't make them that small. You have to make them full length, then cut them without shearing them. So it's, a, it's actually a quite an expensive process to make. Can't get it to focus. Yeah, you have Torx, Torx Plus, tamper-proof Torx. You have flat, XZN, Torx Plus, Hex, Metric, and SAE, and Philips. And again, when you pair any of this bits out of this kit with the HBR5, you now have the most low-profile bit kit in the world. Yep, you even have a square drive adapter so that you can put that bad boy in here. So now you got a quarter-inch ratchet. I wonder how many people actually use the, the square drives. For, I mean, it's useful, and people do probably use them somewhat, but I feel like if, if you're a real mechanic and you have a box full of quarter-inch ratchets, small, big, medium, everything in between, you're mm. not going to go out of your way to use a bit ratchet unless you really need the tight access, like you really need it. Well, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm just wondering how many of you actually, you know, how many of you, your go-to thing is to grab the, the square drive out of a bit set and put it on a ratcheting wrench. We include it in all of ours because it is useful, but I want to know how many of you actually go about choosing that over a regular quarter-inch ratchet if the space isn't needed. Yeah, let us know. So that comes with a lifetime warranty, and uh, we have those in stock. So check them out. And that's it for products because we're going to go right into Piper's Pick. I'm sure you guys want to know who the winner is. Okay, there are 263 entries. And so all that's left to do is Piper to pick three numbers, and that will determine the winner. Zero. Zero. Two. two. No. Seven. Zero, two, seven. Zero, two, seven. Wasn't it zero, two, six last time? Yeah. It's cool because we've been getting low numbers. I don't know how to. Okay. Main IAC 656. <laughs> We got 26 we'll, and 27. We'll message you on Instagram. Congratulations. You are the winner of the mystery box. So, um, also, we're going to use today to launch a. To launch what? As our TMS 77 goes, we also carry subsets of each one of our pooches here. So, we got Nobu here and new to the family. This is Hazel. Everybody, yeah, meet Hazel. Nobu hasn't really gotten used to her little sister yet, but, you know. This is Dr. Evil, and that is Mini-Me. Right? So just, <laughs> just so you guys know, we have a freaking zoo here. We're done after this, dude. <laughs> no more. But she's okay. a cutie, and she's welcome. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And um, main IAC 656 we will message you on Instagram. Congratulations, you are the winner. Everybody else, good luck, good luck next time. Uh, We'll see you next week.